In order to add these radical terms together, we must have what are called like radicands. In other words, the number inside the radical, which is called the radicand, must be the same for the different terms. Clearly, in this problem, the radicands are very different. But notice that we can break down each of our square roots. 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. So a 3 will come out of the radical, which multiplies times the 5, and we have a 15 on the outside, and on the inside we're left with the 2 that did not pair up. In the second term, 8 factors as 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. So a 2 comes out, which multiplies by the 3 that's already out there, to give us 2 times 3, or 6. And again, we're left with a 2 inside the radical. In the last term, 50 factors as 2 times 25, and 25 is 5 times 5. So a 5 comes out of the radical, and we have minus 5 times the square root of 2. Notice now that our radicands, or numbers inside the radicals, are all the same. So we can add these terms together. 15 root 2 plus 6 root 2 is 21 root 2, and 21 root 2 minus 5 root 2 is 16 root 2.